Hello everyone, I am back with another new tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create this neon glowing lines effect inside Photoshop. It will be a quite fun and exciting tutorial. Guys, if you like it, do show your support by liking the video, sharing it and most importantly, subscribing the channel. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here we are inside Photoshop. This is a car image which I am using for this tutorial. As you know, these kinds of effect looks good and pop out more on dark surfaces. We will have to darken this image. For doing that, I am going with curve adjustment tool. Now decrease the intensity on the brighter areas. Create a point on the mid-tones and make them darker as well. I also want blue tint, so create the color balance and take the slider towards blue and shine as well. We are done with the image. Put them in group by Ctrl G or Command G, rename it image. Now create a new layer, it's time to create those glowing lines. Select the pen tool, make sure it is selected as a path. Now you have to trace the most important creases of the car. We have created our first path. Now select the brush tool. B is the shortcut. Right click and select any brush from this list. I am going with round point step. It's because it has taper at the start and at the end of this brush. Make sure the foreground color is white. X to switch it. Now select direct selection arrow tool and right click on it and stroke path. Make sure simulate pressure is checked. Press OK. Control S to hide the path. We have created our first line. So this is how you'll have to create more lines and keep tracing the most important contours and creases of the car. Come fast forwarding from here because it is the repeated process. If you have any difficulties on any area or you want to see it, you can reduce the speed of the player and check it. I want this line to be a little thicker. So select the brush tool and right click and make this around 24 pixel. Here I have created all of the lines. You can spend more time to make them more smooth. I have created them quickly. I just wanted to show you the technique. It's time to assign them a color and a glow effect. 
double click on the first layer apply gradient select first color stop apply darker blue color create new color stop at center and apply cyan color copy first color stop place it on the right now apply outer glow change the color to blue change blending mode to linear dodge opacity 100% now play with the size apply a drop shadow change blending mode to linear dodge opacity 100% use similar blue color but darker this time decrease its distance to zero increase size according to your liking We have created the neon effect on the first line. Now right click on this layer, copy layer style, select all other layers and paste layer styles. Control G to group them. Rename it lines. Control J to duplicate the group. Control E to merge them. Go to the filter, blur, motion blur. Change its angle to zero. And increase its distance. I am going with 400. Press OK. Put them in linear dodge blending mode. Add a layer mask and with the help of black color, remove it from the beginning. Make sure you selected it as a foreground to transparent. Duplicate the lines group. Control E to merge them. Place it above everything. With the help of Alt and Option, click on the motion blur you created earlier. Change angle to 90. Decrease the distance. Decrease its distance around 130 to 150. Change blending mode to color dodge. We can even reduce the opacity. I am going with 80. Copy this layer mask by holding ALT and drag it on the new layer. Now create a color balance layer and take it to its sign and blue as well. It's time to place the text. In this video, I'm not showing how I created this text. If you really wanted to see it, do let me know in the comment box. I will create new video to show you the entire process how I created this text. We can darken it even more to enhance this effect. We have completed our design. If you have any difficulties on any of the areas, 
you can ask me on comment box. You can spend more time to trace even more edges. I just wanted to demonstrate the technique. Hope you like it. If it comes handy, then guys, to show your support by liking the video, sharing it, and most importantly, subscribing the channel. So, thanks for your time. Bye for now.